Cooking Today, brought to you by the Sola Healthy Lifestyle Kitchen. Eating healthy doesn't mean you have to get stuck in a rut and eat the same boring things over and over. Today we're making one recipe that can be transformed into three totally different meals. Welcome certified nutritional health coach, Samantha Eaton. This is a great topic. How are you doing? Great. How are you guys? All right. Thank you so much. All right. I like it. Cook one time and stretch it out. Yeah. Why yes. not, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So stuffed peppers. We got to start with the pepper, right? Mm -hmm. So any color pepper you want. To get the pepper ready to stuff, we need to remove the top. So I like to just take a knife, give it a little stab, and then kind of work it around in a circle, kind of like this. Mm -hmm. And then from here, once the top is off, just kind of pull the stem. You can get it all up in there. And then use tongs because it can be very hot. But I boil mine first for about 10 minutes because that way you don't have to cook them in the oven as long. And while that's cooking, we can start working on the stuffing. Okay. So okay. in here, I have sausage. You can use any type of ground meat you want, but sausage just, it's like cheating, right? It comes with a ton of flavor already. That's right. So I have sausage in here. I have an onion, jalapeno, some um, kale. And the reason I have kale, kale might not really go into traditional Mexican stuffing, but it's just a great way to sneak in some leafy greens. So to prepare your kale, I like to just take it, hold it by the stem, mm -hmm. and slide the leaves off. And then from here, you want to cut it in teeny little pieces so it will just kind of absorb into everything else. You won't even know it's in there. When it cooks, it gets really small. Okay. So just kind of chop it up really small. And then it wilts down like spinach. It, over. Yep. Mm -hmm. it really does. And then to here, once you know that kind of gets going a little more, we're going to add the seasonings. So in here, I have chili powder, I have cumin, I have salt, and I have something called nutritional yeast. And nutritional yeast, it's an inactive form of yeast, but it makes things taste a little bit cheesy. So this is oh, a like vegan recipe. Oh. So any, yeah, I mean, vegan in terms of like no dairy. Sure. There's meat in here, clearly. Um, but if you wanted to swap the meat out, you could just put something like quinoa in there instead. Mm -hmm. So all your delicious flavors in there. Then we're going to add some black beans to this. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some corn. Corn just has a nice pop, that nice freshness kind of feel mm -hmm. to it some salsa. This will give it some good moisture and obviously a ton of flavor. And then some cilantro. Put that right in there. And then just give it a nice stir. That so this is what, good. yeah, this is what that filling is going to be. It's loaded with flavor. So then the next step you're going to do with the pepper, once that boils for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you're going to use your tongs, pour out the water, and bring it back to your cutting board. So you can either stuff it exactly like this, but I like to just cut it like this and then I'll bring it over here with these guys because I find you can get more filling in there if you cut them in half. Mm -hmm. So from here, just kind of take a spoon and you just stuff it in there. I tend to overstuff it, but chances are you're going to get some extra filling that you can eat on your own. Um, so once you do that, you're just going to bake this for about 20 minutes mm -hmm. and that's it. And then what you're left with, this is what it looks like once it's baked, but you want to be sure to put on the fun toppings because that's where it tends to get extra good. So to this, you can add um, an avocado if you want. You can put some cilantro on there. And then, Eugene, I have a special surprise for you. Remember okay. that queso dip that you have? Yes. Loved? Oh, yes. This is similar. So it's a cheesy type dip, but it's made with that nutritional yeast. So, so there's, not cheese there's no it. dairy in there. Oh, exactly. yeah. So you're giving your body a little break from that inflammation. So good. And you're still getting kind of that cheesy flavor at the same time. Samantha, so, so, thank you. That looks delicious. You can get this recipe on our website. You can also go to healthyeaten.com <laughs> slash Charlotte today. Healthyeaten.com slash Charlotte today. Thank you so much for thank your time. You. That's good. All right, much more ahead on <laughs> Charlotte today.